hey guys here we are about to take a look at secret weapon number two now immediately above me you would have taken a look at secret weapon number one where you were able to see some of the people who would have helped to mentor you would have helped to motivate you some of the icons in the industry that we all follow after and you were able to see um how you can use their sequences and their funnels and some of their ads to actually build your own following while not copying but modeling what they have done and what they use so before us is secret weapon number two like i said and this takes it and helps to embellish on it i mean what you have above in secret weapon number one is enough but you still need to find the audience and what this does is this finds the audience and i have used this before obviously and i can tell you that right here in this interest finder right here you will find audiences that you will not find ever on facebook audience targeting right here you are going to find it but I'm not going to go into all of that because as you can see there are eight different sections right here retarget filter of course you will know that this is going to massively improve your retargeting um, email to audience sequence here with people obviously opt into your email list and go straight to the audience that you will help build obviously for the retargeting filter right here add decorator let me just show you this one right here let me just show you this one right here you can see that you have all the arrows you know you know the thing about it is that today if you aren't using emojis and smileys and stuff like that your eyes look downright plain and boring so this helps to enhance them right here the smileys and the emoticons etc you know right there in your ad and if you watch the the video on facebook ad copy you will know how to write your ads and of course because we are all social media oriented today you will know where to put your emojis and how to add them in to obviously spice up your ads etc and you can see a whole ton of flags right here so let's go back here to this dashboard and then of course there's the page targeter where you are able to target specific pages in your niche let me just show you this here a little of this right here let me type in florist or something that may be in your niche and then let's suppose you are selling websites like i do let me see if this website is going to come back up here right like if you are selling websites like you do like this right here i would use this right here right now to target let's suppose um, A and B flourish right here open this in a new link see if they have a there's an email address they don't have I don't see a website so I would use that obviously to target them because I do not see a website here although I believe that they may have a website let me just look at another one here um, this blooms flores and yes they have a website I would examine their website see if their website is better than mine um i don't think so maybe you do but i don't think so if you look at my website right here you can see it is to me nicer layout looks much better so i would approach them or other people who are in the floors industry who don't have a website and i would show them mine just like this because like i said i sell these and not specifically florist right 
I have over 100 websites that I deal with. I don't sell floors. So when I say, I, when I say it or when I say it, I sell these, not this particular. But since I am in here and showing you this, I will show them this. Let me just show you something else so that you can see what I'm talking about. You can see this. This is a chiropractic website also, right? So when I said I sell these, you can see exactly what I am talking about. Good. But I would approach them to sell them this. I mean, they may not buy it. They may think that theirs looks okay or, or theirs is better. And like I said, because there are more florists here, as you can see all of these different pages. Hey, don't you think that I would be able to get some business? Yes, I think I would be able to get some business. So let's go back here to the dashboard and then there is the notifications right here ad watcher you can watch people's ads you'll be notified you know as they drop newer ads right and then this is very important the facebook roi calendar and for those of you who don't know what roi stands for it stands for return on investment so let's just take a look at this one quick good so it will show you if you were spending $2,500 a month on Facebook and you were getting $1 or paying $1 per click on Facebook and you were converting or getting 25% of those people to opt in to your landing page and getting 5% of those people to purchase your product let's say at fifty dollars you would be operating at a total loss of nine hundred and thirty seven dollars right now to break even or to make a profit you would have to be probably selling a 77 dollar product as you can see right here you would be losing 93 dollars you would not be making any return on your investment however if you sold the product at $97 or you were taking them to a product that sells for $97 and you got 5% of those people to buy your product you would make $531 in total profit of course you can move these around right here so if you were getting 10% of people to buy your $97 profit product you would be making in total profit 29.56 so this makes it easy for you to see based on what you are spending on Facebook per month based on what you are paying per click based on your conversion rate which may be real lower than this or it may be higher depending on what you are promoting you can use this to see what type of product you would have to be selling what price point you would have to be selling that product at to be able to make a profit and especially make the type of profit that you want so ladies and gentlemen that has been a brief demo of course there is so much more when you get into the training right here of secret weapon number two that we use in our business to be able to build our list, make sales, and most importantly, profit. I'll see you in the next tutorial.